Hello. So this video is about anyone who journals, keeps a diary, or wants to, or wants to expand that into other areas of their life. This is a, a video about that. It's a challenge. I don't know yet if I'm going to come back and do like a daily go through or check in or just every other day kind of check in. But I hope I um, uh, get some comments and some interest and to uh, I, journaling really helps me. I love going back to journals like even years later. It's like someone else wrote it. Who wrote this? Um, you know, maybe you want to keep a travel journal. Maybe you're taking a trip or even um, like a weekend thing, weekend journal, or maybe you're interested in dreams. Want to start remembering your dreams. The best way to do that is to keep a journal and write them down. Uh, triggers your mind to remember. So uh, stick around. That's what I'm going to be talking about. Ooh, hello, everyone. My name is Alan. Welcome to my channel. I had a very busy day today. Very productive. Going out, out of the house at 10 a.m. Off to the art supply place called Scraps up the street with a friend. I should have videotaped in there. I don't know why I did. It's pretty crazy in there. It's really um, packed with used stuff. It's great. Um, so I did that. And it's more shop shopping all day. Taking trains. I had to take a 45-minute train out to Clackamas County north. And I brought a book with me. It's still in my bag. But uh, boy, I read a Probably three or four chapters out of uh, John Irving's A Widow for One Year. And I bought some posters today, some Valentine's Day decoupage things. I'm working on some tarot tins. I'm going to um, give one away this month. That's on my tarot channel. Um, what else? And I found this. Tit Not Han journal, uh, a journal with the words of Tit Not Han. It's hardcover. It's older, but and it's uh, used, but it's pristine. It's in a uh, near mint condition. It has little sayings on it. By making peace with your parents, in us we have a chance to make real peace with ourselves. And little uh leaves and flower type ferns i have arrived i am home in the here in the now i am solid i am free in the ultimate i dwell and although i would love to keep this journal it has a even a book nice bookmark um it's thin i'm going to give it to my therapist and friend and teacher jada scott because she studied with, she calls him Thay, T-H-A-Y, which means teacher. But that's what she calls him when she speaks about him. And when she speaks about him, she speaks about him fondly. He's a big influence on her life in France. Now, she's French, she's American. Anyway, but that started me thinking about maybe uh, a December journal. 31 days of journaling in December. And people who know me know I'm a longtime journaler. Diary. And I have, right now I have one, two, three, four. And if I start this journal, there'll be five journals going on. They're all different colors. I use, I use Mead composition notebook. When I can, the the old time hard, uh, you can tell the difference when you buy a Walmart or dollar store one for a dollar. They're flimsy. I try not to do that. I buy real need. The covers are high stock cardboard. They're um, st stitched together much better. You can, uh, you don't want to. What I like about me, sometimes I have to uh, tear a page out 
and then you always have to leave room. You can't tear it out by the roots. So I have a, this is one that's old and filled up with old um, I, ideas and that short stories, I think, on one side, and then I'll pull them on the other. I have to go through these two books, red and blue one, for the uh, writing, poetry. Dig out what I've written in there, type it all out, print it, you know, go through that, retype it again. This black book is my um, channel, uh, Big Hard Books and Classics. I started that July 27th, 2018, and it's still not quite one side through yet, so that's good. This green one here, I just started 17 November. It's my green journal. And this accompanied with a journal on my phone, which I could show you if I had my, I, I just got a new laptop. And unfortunately, I don't have Wi-Fi here. I videotaped on there several things. I, I need to go to the library or across the street or to Starbucks and that's with the editing. It came with Pro Director, I think. And I'm trying to figure that out. So this is my dream journal. And I also have a dream journal on my phone that I primarily use just to record. Now, I haven't really... I set my intention at night in here. And I do certain meditations and things to, um, to elucid, uh, lucid dreaming. And it hasn't been, I've been remembering dreams more, so that has been working well, but I haven't been able to get loose yet or really even close to it. I've had uh, some recurring dreams, but other than that, then this is for the yellows for my tarot channel. And this I've been flying through. I'm already, I started this uh, October 1st, already on, I've already turned it over the way I journal. I do. I do a lot of, especially with tarot, a lot of, um, not doodling, but kind of organization or I don't know what you'd call it. I like to just make it look good, you know, make it look symmetric. You know how a spread is laid out. So I use different color ink, primarily just black, red, and blue, but I have a green rapidio graph for art. I could even have another journal for art. I don't have a sketchbook. That's another table over there. So one, two, three. These two equal four. So I have four separate journals going on. And that's not to brag. I just, I, you can use these in your life too, if you care to. Um, you know, you could start a dream journal like I, like I have, or if, um, if you're a tarot reader, I assume you have a tarot journal. You're already probably doing that. If you are, how about a uh, daily journal, like a diary? Or a follow the moon, you know, the, the phases of the moon, the quarters. You probably do that in your tarot journal. But I put my intentions at night, and then I will go throughout the day and write down what actually is happening and the times. I always date it up front like uh, today, 1 December 18, Saturday, uh, 8.41 p.m. I started this today. I didn't get this idea until I got back. And for those in the booktube, uh, I don't know if you've heard about this. I haven't seen anything on in our community about depth of ear. It's something a lot of tarot people are doing, and I'm doing too. It's where you, um, instead of getting new interests like, uh, I want to learn Crystal, I want to learn Kabbalah, I want to learn this, I want to get into Shakespeare, I want to get into Dante, I want to buy more books on my shelf. You know, the people who just have uh, their whole house is full of books and uh, you're expected to believe that they've read absolutely every one of them. And no, they haven't. But um, so instead of buying more and more and more and more, be content with what we have and dig deeper into that. 
you know. Um, a lot of people buy a lot of tarot decks, and they're collectors. Some people don't even read tarot cards. They just collect them, it's, and they're scholars. I have never been a, like a 10-person deck. I'm good with a good Rider Waite Smith. Now I've got a, a, a Smith Weight Borderless deck I, I like. And then uh, <clears throat> a few traditional decks, a Toth deck, and maybe a uh, um, Osho Zen deck, and then a Rumi Oracle or uh, Celtic Theory Oracle or something. But you, you know, Red White Smith, Toth, and a few others. I'm cool. Uh, uh, Marseille deck. I'm, oh, I'm tempted to buy a Marseille next year, but I, I don't need it. You know, a green box, thick paper stock. Yeah, let's but, step, uh, we could step up our journaling in December, so I'll probably come back here. I'm also copying off uh, For the Love of Ryan. Yeah, I was, I'm also copying off For the Love of Ryan. He does these series where he'll come back every day and do a brief check-in, so that's what I'm going to do if it catches on. It's Saturday, so I should take a shower tonight. Was supposed to have cooked steak, got the Heinz 57 sauce, and potatoes with, with crisp. Didn't return till 5.30 p.m. Football, Ohio State Buckeyes won. They killed it. ASU won, beat Wildcats, too, by one point. Wish I could have seen that game. This is uh, by uh, Journal. And after my shower, I'll read, and then I'll journal again, maybe, and set my dream intention, meditate for 10 to 20 minutes, and call it a night. See if I can remember my dreams, wake up again, and um, start over. Working on drawing up the Ace of Pentacles here. So, uh, that's what... I've been doing, and I hope you guys like to journal and will join me on this 31-day uh, practice. See if you like it. Until then, thanks.